phenomenal player. He's Massive a, any team's really. weaker without him. Massively. And it was seen mm. the effects it has on Man City. Um, there are other players that have played that role. Kante's one of them. Bush gets another one. I don't really want to say who's better. But all I'll say is, he's certainly in that conversation. And that tells you how much of an unbelievable player he must be. I think be. what he also adds, and he, every now and again, Rodri steps forward and scores some right important goals, doesn't yeah. he? Massive goal. You know, he strikes beautifully from the edge of the box. Scored some left foot and right foot. He scored some really important goals for his team as well. He is. I mean, he is an incredible player. He's brilliant at the role. Understands it totally. Um, for club and for country, he's pivotal, crucial, all of those words. Um, is he in the greatest ever Premier League eleven? Yeah, I think he must be. Do you think he well, is? Who, who else are you putting in well, that role? I mean, again... I, I think Kante's better than Makaleli. Yeah, right? Probably, yeah. And I, I think and he's probably... defined, you know, that role became the Makaleli, yeah. didn't it? And I, I personally... Oh, it's horrible, you say... Better than Keno? Is Rodri a better, a better base yeah, of a midfield yeah, I don't than like Keno? you asking me that question. It's, so, it's very I'll difficult. I played the fifth on that. And it's so subjective. It really is. Everyone's got a shout and a say. There is no doubt. There is no... What, what is an up for question? Is uh, up for debate, sorry. Is the fact that Rodri is absolutely sensational what mm. he does. And uh, and if if Spain are to beat France tonight, if Spain has a goal away in the competition, he'll have a big part of playing mm. it. Um, I'm going to ask a question about Rodri, but firstly, if you're Spanish, right, mm. and you want to talk about Rodri, I would love you to call up. It's very rare that I'll say, obviously, the Euros is on, so that's why we're doing it. Yeah. Very rare that I would say throughout the Premier League season, if you're Spanish, talk about Rodri. We don't do that. If you're Spanish and you're listening to the show, it doesn't matter where you are, you might be in Spain, you might be anywhere. When you just mentioned Busquets just now, I mean, look, he was part of that incredible team with, you know, with Xavi and Iniesta, and those three were just incredible. They're unbelievable, but... Busquets or, or, or Rodri. Wow, that's but when you when you're a player shot. with those two around you, you're going to be good, I would imagine. You but if, if you're Spanish and you want to talk about Rodri and how important he is to your team, if you phone up your your come on national radio now, oh three seven one seven double two double three four. Um, Spanish people only for that one sentence. I never <laughs> thought I'd say, but I just want to hear from from Spanish fans. Um, staying with Rodri, how how important is he to Man City? And is he the most important player to a side in the Premier League. And by that I mean, right, so for argument's sake, the argument might be Cole Palmer to Chelsea, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not comparing the two, but what I am saying, if you take Cole Palmer out of Chelsea, certainly last season, I think Chelsea dropped like a stone, right? Yeah. With Rodri, I'm not so sure, though they look so much weaker without him. So, so is Rodri, do you think, the most important player to a side in the Premier League or not? Again, he... He has to be. I mean, I, I remember when when uh, when Fernandinho was sort of really at his best. He, again, another player that really, really understood that role. You have to know when to. And he, it, that article, there's an article in the in the press today, isn't there? And about and with Rodri about sort of when to pick the game up, when mm. to accelerate the game, when to drop drop off the gas, when to when to keep it from that position. That's the only position on the field where you can actually, I think, influence all of those yeah, things. the speed of the game. The that speed out. of the game. I, th I, I think he does that brilliantly. You've got to know when to foul. You've got to know when you have to take a card, take one for the team. You've got to know when somebody dare not go past you. You have to recognise all those things. And I think you have to be very, very cute sometimes with the way you tackle to get away with things. He does that as well. Um, you know, lots of lots of players are too blatant in that position. They immediately go to ground. They they, they foul. They get, they're on a yellow card after five minutes. Don't often see that with Rodri, do you? He's so smart in the way that he plays. Is he more important to Man City than, than Kevin Harland. De Bruyne, than right. Foden and than Haaland? Probably. Probably. Is he the most uh, important player? Um... I would I would probably say he is their most important yeah. player because he gives all of those players you just mentioned, all of those, everybody else in the team, he gives them the platform to go and just do what they do best, knowing that he's always there, he's always available. He's, whenever anyone's in trouble with the ball, invariably he's there to, to have it off of them and, and, and keep them moving forward again. Uh, he probably is the one that they can't replace. Okay. Let, I, I said, I put the call out to Spanish people only 
To, oh, he's just dropped off. Look at that. I was just going to go to him. Marcos was hanging on. We'll go back to him in just a second. But yes, if you are a Spain fan and you want to talk about how important Rodri is, 0371722334. We're waiting for him to come back. Name another club then. We've talked about Man City. I mentioned Cole Palmer with Chelsea. Name another club where a, a club are so reliant on him. Could it be Mohamed Salah like Liverpool's another one for me? But they've got Virgil van Dijk. They've got Alisson. These are big names, right? Yeah, they're all big. I mean, every every team has their special players and has the players that, that that you feel make the difference make the difference for them. You know, look, I've not always been Bruno Fernandez's biggest fan at Manchester United. I think there are times when I, I I I don't quite get what everyone else has has, has seen with him. However, certainly recently, I have I have seen and been much, a, a very very impressed with what he does. I can't imagine United replacing him too easily at the mm. moment um, so yeah every team's got players that you look at and you think how are they going to work if anything happens to him how's it going to go for them if they lose this particular player to injury but uh, but certainly Rodri is right up there Ed. Uh Richard's a Villa fan I don't know if he's Spanish or not but wants to talk about Rodri hello Richard uh, unfortunately no not Spanish I was going to say can you put a Spanish accent on I don't know if legally we can do that anymore <laughs> we'll probably get in trouble with someone so best not but go on you phone up to talk about Rodri right yeah, so in terms of him, he's their most important player. All you've got to look at is last season, he was banned for one of the Villa games, mm. and we absolutely battered him. We just overran him, in, overran him in the midfield, and you could see his miss so much, whereas you think of De Bruyne misses half a season, and they still win the title. Haaland yeah. can be replaced by Alvarez quite easily. Though he is, my old man's a City fan, and he is convinced he should be Ballon d'Or winner every, every every year essentially because he's so important to them Richard it's a good debate at a minute I and mean, it's one that the guys in the studio here we were talking about before the show about it, look, if England go all the way with Bellingham or Spain were to go all the way would do you think Rodri or Bellingham could, could end up with a Ballon d'Or I think if England win the Euros then you'll give it Bellingham because he'll have had the moment you know he's had goals in uh, El Clasico he scored the overhead in the last minute so it'll be a moment one I mean, I think he'll deserve it over Vinny. Um, but for instance, last year, Rodri didn't even get in the top three. Man City won the treble. And he, I'd say he's their most valuable player. So he does, he definitely does miss out. OK, put a price on him for me, Richard. Um, if Declan Rice goes for 100 million, you'd... I mean, how old is Rodri? He's, he's 28. Young, think? 28. Is he 28? All oh, right. Uh, you, I mean, if I was City, I wouldn't sell him for 150 million, to be honest. No. You couldn't put a price on him. Yeah, I said I said two hundred minimum. Yeah. yeah, he's older than I thought. Actually, I thought he was like twenty five. So okay, maybe right. the twenty eight. He probably plays at least thirty five. Richard, before I let you go, I'm going to ask you two questions. First semi final tonight, France v Spain. What will the score be? Uh, one one, and France on pens. Okay, tomorrow night. Oh, that's three 0 England. Three 0 England. Okay, all right. You've been, been drinking early, Richard. Have you? <laughs> If only. Uh, if only indeed. Have a lovely evening. Thanks for your call, pal. All right, cheers. Uh, we'll carry that debate on, shall yeah. we? 0371722344. Is, is he the most important player to a team in the Premier League? And if you're Spanish and you want to talk Roger, he can. The number, of course, is 0371722344. You listen to Eurogame Day live on TalkSport. TalkSport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.